Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Guys, I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support for 2021. Um, this is your December reading for 2021, so it's the last monthly reading for the year. I know it's been really tough this year with so much going on in the world, um, but we made it through and we've made it to the end. And let's just open arms 2022. Okay, this year has absolutely flown by. Um, I don't know about you, but yeah, there's been a lot of change, a lot of, you know, successes as well. You know, it hasn't all been doom and gloom. You know, I feel that there's been success in, in lots of areas in people's lives as well. So let's celebrate the success and not focus on the negative too much. Taurus, uh, for today's reading, I want to use this, or I'm using the Tarot of the Night, which is um, a deck that I actually started um, using when I started filming uh, Tarot on YouTube and sharing my Tarot on social media. Um, I've been reading Tarot for a very long time, but I've never really taken it online. Um, and this is the deck that I started using um, when I first started. So I just want to share it with you as well as um, it's almost like closing a chapter as well. You know, there's a there's an energy here of, um, you know, let's wrap up 2021. Let's wrap up the year of, you know, my doing readings on YouTube as well, because there's, you know, there's been so much trial and error with my channel. I've been trying different things for so long, like different videos, different timings, weeklies, monthlies. Me in the camera, me on the camera, me at the table. Such a different mix of things. Um, oh, look at that at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Hierophant here. This is the card of Taurus. I'm just going to pop that over there as well. Um, that, you know, it's it's been a real experiment. So all I want to say is just thank you for your support. Thanks for, you know, persevering uh, with it all. I am, you know, just a, an amateur. So we'll see what 22 brings. Um, there's going to be some changes. So keep your eye out for those. If you do like this deck um, and you're interested in maybe getting yourself a deck or someone else for Christmas, I just want to share this as well. I do have a copy of it left in my shop. This is the last deck. This is the last copy I have. Um, it's called Tarot of the Night. This is a it's in mint mint condition in box, um, and it's an original. I don't sell fake decks, um, and this is beautiful deck. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, created by Las Garabio, which is the company that make these decks. Uh, I can see on the bottom here, Tarot of the Night. Um, and yeah, so this is up for sale in my shop. So if you like this reading and you like these, this deck, I do have this last one available. Um, these cards are a little bit wor worse for wear, but um, yeah, just because they've been used quite a lot. But anyway, all right, guys, let's kick off your reading and get started. I'll stop babbling. Uh, I've pulled you an Angel Answer card as well, just to start the reading. And these are the Doreen Virtue Angel Answer cards. They're not tarot cards, they're oracle cards. So this is a message here for you for the month of December to say, let go. Let go of the past. Let go of whatever's holding you back. Let go of old habits. Let go of people and situations that don't serve you anymore. Let go of anything that is just holding you down. Okay, I love this card. This is so positive. Um, you know, angels with their open arms, open wings, ready to receive. And it's all there waiting for you. As long as you let go. If you hold on to the past and you hold on to things too tightly, you can't move forward. So Taurus, whatever's been holding you back this year, just let it go. All right, let's get started. The center of your reading, which is at the heart of your reading, you have the devil card. All right, this is the card of Capricorn. And it's also ruled by Saturn. Saturn rules time, rules and restrictions. There's not a lot of flex with Saturn or the Devil card. But what the Devil card does when it comes up, it's asking you to um, have a look at your shadow side and have a look at what you feel chained to, okay, and what you feel bound to. And it's quite interesting because you do have the Let Go card, okay. This is about things that you're chained to. And the overarching energy here is to let go. So the devil card can indicate things that, as I said, um, that you're chained to, that you feel bound by. You know, Saturn doesn't have a lot of flexibility in its energy. Um, you know, the devil card could mean you're chained to a marriage um, primarily. It can indicate a relationship. It can also indicate um, a job, 
like you you know you feel like you change this job you just you know it's not making you happy but also the devil card asks it can ask you a question as well and you know take what resonates and leave the rest behind but it can also indicate the fact that you need to question um you know your shadow side all right this is about dealing with the devil this is about dealing with the things that you know within yourself are not are not uh, NQR you know not quite right this can also indicate things like addiction food alcohol whatever your you know whatever your poison is um, December is a time where you know there's a time for reassessment here okay and having a look at you know a cold hard look at yourself in the mirror and sort of saying okay this is it it's do or die what do I need to fix so that's at the center of your reading um, you know it's um it's confronting but at the same time change is necessary okay crowning you you've got the empress card this is your card taurus as well this is about this is about abundance fertility this is crowning you you got everything waiting for you in 2022 i guarantee it there's fertility here some of you if you're expecting or you're wanting to um you know try for children um december is a good month for you to do that um this is coming up as a focus for you if you are trying to have children congratulations you might already be pregnant when you're watching this video um, so if you are but you know this message is for you but the Empress card if it doesn't apply to you, none of those things apply to you this is also the um, the third major arcana okay so this is about ma maiden mother crone um, mother father child this is a card of creation so even if it's not maternal it can indicate you know the creative the creation and abundance of whatever it is that you've created in your own world, whatever it is you've created within, an, you know, for a business or within the office or whatever it is you're creating, that's your focus. It's your laser focus for December, you know, creation, abundance, fertility, um, you know, beautiful, you know, being generous, being benevolent um, and being that divine feminine power as well. Because as I said, you know, this is a trinity. It's maiden mother crone. Wherever you are in that in that divine life path, you could be maiden still, you could be a mother, or you could be in crone. But whatever that is, that's going to be really abundant for you in December. Very interesting. In your foundation, you've got the Page of Swords. This is Gemini energy. Uh, so, sorry, it's a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. It's not one particular sign, but it is air energy. Page of Swords is in your foundation. In your foundation, Taurus, this is all about tech. Okay, this is all about innovation. This is about ideas, digital, technology, um, media, communication, anything to do with advertising, those sorts of things. That's in your foundation here, and that's your rock. Whatever this means to you, that's what's keeping your two feet on the ground. But I feel in December, you're going to be coming to the party a little bit. You're sort of the innovator. You're the person that comes to the meeting or the table and says, hey, why, we, why aren't we doing it like this? Taurus, this is your strength for December. In your recent past, you got the King of Cups. This is about Cancer energy. Okay, so Cancer is about the home. Cancer is about leadership. Cancer is also about, um, you know, um, making decisions about things that you've been circling for a while, um, but you've now mastered it. So as you know, crabs move sideways. They don't move, you know, front and back. They move side to side. The reason why they move side to side is because they're sort of assessing things from all angles. They look at the big picture, they look at around, and then when they have pinpointed, you know, where they need to go, bang, then they'll go, then they'll move forward. But they don't, basically, they don't, um, they don't reveal too much about themselves straight away. They've got a very tough exterior, um, like the crab itself. It's a tough nut to crack. You know what I mean? They've got an ex, they've got an exo shell. But on the inside, they're really, really soft. You may have recently been dealing with a cancer in your life, or you could just be have, fo have been focusing on the home, okay? Getting things ready for 2022. Because 2022 is also going to be um, the year of the number six. When you add 2022 together, it's a number six. Life path number six or master number six is all about the home. It's all about creating, you know, your sanctuary. And I feel that you, Taurus, you've been doing that just recently. Like you could have been buying some new furniture or, you know, upgrading or doing a bit of renovating. There's been something here that's been happening in the recent past where you've been preparing 
for 2022 and it's all around the home. In your immediate future, you've got the Nine of Swords. The Swords energy is very much about negative self-talk. So Taurus, this is a um, direct order from spirit to say enough is enough with the negative self-talk. Okay, There is an energy around you still in coming up in December where you might be feeling... Um, you know, you're just really hard on yourself and there's no need to be that way. You know, you are you. You create your own luck. You create your own world. You know, this energy that keeps coming up for you, that's about negative self-talk. It's a direct order from spirit to basically say, look, just stop. Because what happens is when you, um, you know, words become, words become reality. Okay, you speak something. You know, that's why spelling and words, the word spell comes from the word spelling. You know, it's like you're spelling yourself. You're, you're reiterating um, and, and verbalizing your reality. When you verbalize your reality, it, you know, it becomes your reality. You believe it. So, and the other thing about Nine of Swords is when you are, you know, when you are having that negative self-talk, um, it, it, it basically creates a block. Okay, it doesn't allow grace to come in. You're creating a block within um, you, between yourself and spirit, between yourself and your guides, between yourself and angels. They're knocking on the door, but they can't get in. The reason why they can't get in is because you're being negative. Um, when you are positive, you know it's like this motion. Everything opens, wings expand, and you can you know transcend. So the the, the sooner you start. Um, being nice, being kind to yourself and saying positive affirmations to yourself and not being negative, you'll be able to receive more grace. And you'll also be able to deal with this devil energy in the center of your reading, which you're obviously struggling with still. You yourself, uh, apart from all of that, um, are pretty much just chopping wood and carrying water. You know, the Four of Cups is very much a meh card. It can indicate in the negative sense a bit a sense of boredom. You could be experiencing everything's just meh and you're sort of just treading water and you're just carrying on with things, which is fair enough. But what actually might be happening to you in December as well is just when you least expect it, a gift is going to come through. It's going to come over your left hand shoulder. Okay, It's going to tap you on the shoulder and go, hey, uh, how about this? And something's going to come through for you. So keep an eye out for that. The Four of Cups is an interesting one. Um, because all you've been doing is just trying to maintain stability. You know, the number four here as well is about stability. Four legs on the table, stable table. That's the numerology. But at the end of the day, um, you know, Taurus are hard workers. You know, you're just sort of keeping things moving. You know, nothing's sort of sliding back. Nothing's sort of, you know, expanding. But it's just sort of, you know, Groundhog Day. Okay. So that's you in the month of December. In your environment, you've got the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles indicates December being a month of juggling finance, um, you know, two homes. You could be, um, you know, sharing custody or there's something happening here with two homes. And there's also an indication here of two workplaces. So there's a combination here of working from home, working in the office, okay, working from home, working in the office. That's the Two of Pentacles. But mostly it's about juggling finance. It's about making sure that you, you know, you're, you're keeping things afloat. Uh, in your hopes and fears, you've got the moon, all right? This is more anxiety, okay? This is about dreams, messages coming through. You may have been having trouble sleeping, okay? Because uh, the moon, the card does indicate, um, you know, uh, Piscean energy. And it's all about, um, you know, dealing with the unseen, the unknown. Um, sort of second guessing things that haven't even happened. Um, again, this is sort of could be coming off the back of this devil energy in the center and this negative self-talk. Okay, so there's a couple of negative cards in here. But look, overall, um, the moon is about things that are, you know, will become illuminated to you. Things will become apparent to you. They will come to you in messages through things like dreams. So I highly advise that if you do in the month of December, if you have a journal or a, a notebook with pen and paper, pen and paper, Please write your dreams down if you can. If you happen to wake up and you get a glass of water or something in the middle of the night and you need to, you know, you remember to write it down, write it down because it's going to serve you later, okay? There's messages that do come through in dreams um, and they're your angels. That's a time where they can actually reach you. 
because it feels like you know they're not being they're not being able to reach you during the day because you're doing this you're just chopping wood and getting on with work and you're a little bit preoccupied and you're also not able to get through to because of the negative self-talk okay um so they're going to try and come through to you through your dreams the outcome for your reading is the three of wands now this is about planning um and your ships are coming in so the planning that you've been doing prior to this card which is two of wands three of wands is your ships are now finally coming in another creation number you've got three two threes in your reading so it's the number 33 something that you have been um, working on and chipping away at though regardless of how mundane and dissatisfied or bored you might be your plans are actually coming together you, you will be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel so wherever that resonates with you in your life where the plans you have, they are actually coming to fruition. All right, so that's the outcome of the reading. The overarching energy for the reading is the Seven of Pentacles. So this indicates a, a, a time of reassessment. This is what holds your entire reading together. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles is a time where, Taurus, you will be looking at your finances. You will be looking at your assets. You will be looking at, you know, the value of what you have in this um you know fiscally but also the value that you hold within a job a career um and in the home because pentacles are you know home and career and seven is about assessment you know it's coming out of a situation and sort of now see, seeing where you stand um it's just before you start mastering your next move but basically if you're in a situation at the moment you could be looking at your finances and thinking about I don't know, investment properties or something next year or whatever it might be, you are considering those options uh, in the month of December, looking at 2022 and going, right, in 2022, this is going to happen. And you'll be making decisions around that because you're reassessing. So Taurus, look, I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. And again, I really appreciate all your support, likes, comments and, and subscribes. Um, if you don't already, please check out my Instagram. I have an Instagram social there um, and that's it. I only use YouTube and Instagram. My social media is pretty basic. Um, not really using Facebook into 2022. That page will be shutting down around mid-December. Um, but if you do want to reach out, just contact me on Instagram or if you'd like a personal reading, all the links are below. So Taurus, I wish you a fantastic, happy holiday season. If you are having or celebrate Christmas, have a happy Christmas and um, have a fantastic new year. So until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you in 2022. Bye for now, Taurus.